It's really funny how this Let's Play is produced because you guys see all of this happening like day to day to day, whereas I live it like week to week. And I've spent the last week just kind of coping with the death of Miu, which is what we're all here today to decide on. And I don't know, I've got so many thoughts and so many theories on what could have happened, how it could have happened. But the thing is, is, is that it just sucks to not have Miu here. <laughs> the bottom line after everything was like, oh yeah, Miu's character's kind of done, we're kind of over her gimmick. No, we're not. The comic relief of all of our trials, all of the, like, it's just work now. There's no, like, Miu to jump into the trials to be like, my panties are wet. What's going on, guys? Who's the killer? It's not me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. The, this, <sighs> she's like the epitome of lust. Miu, was, it was just all 100% lust and ego. Uh, and she was, she was lustful for so many things and so many people. But the thing that she lusted for more than anything was that she had a lust for life. And to see her gone now, I don't, I don't know, guys. I'm just gonna be- I'm gonna be kind of torn up about it. Hi, I'm your Prince of Play Soul, and welcome to Danganronpa. Uh, when we last left off, Miu died, and we're gonna figure out what's gonna happen. I'm very sure- I'm like 100% sure, without a shadow of a doubt, Samugi did it. No, I'm 100% sure, without a shadow of a doubt, that whatever's gonna happen, we're gonna get super distracted by a bazillion things, and then that tape that we saw, there was like a little roll of tape or something, something really just simple, is gonna come out of nowhere and be like, Ah, smoking gun! Um, I don't know how, but somehow there's things that could have ended- like, murder could have happened inside the virtual realm that was caused by shenaniganry there. Um, all of the chicanery that is inside of the game, the virtual world, makes me think that something happened in the virtual world to kill Miu. I don't think that she was killed before we went in, because the time wouldn't line up anyway. Um, but chicanery is afoot and we've got to get to the bottom of it. There's times when people logged in and logged out that make things weird. There's bottles of poison. There's tons of red herrings. The bottle of poison is obviously a red herring. The, uh, where, what else? Um, Kaito leaving midway through the simulation because he got bored. That's a red herring. <laughs> and, uh, also, oh yeah, Monotaro's our friend now. Which is actually pretty nice. It's been very good. He's forgotten that he was on daddy's side because he was on mommy's side now and mommy is dead. Really? I'm very confused. Anyway. And oh, yeah. On other, in other words, uh, Monotaro is raising his own death flags and every single time our small girl, uh, which is just calling them out and it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's time. It's time for business. There was no protest left in us. It's the fourth time we are here, and uh, Shuichi is probably just exhausted at this point. Out of everything that I've seen, God, the ultimate inventor, Miyu Iruma, has given us a lot of trouble, but we will all miss her. She was worth the trouble! It's a tragedy, after all. What did they think the response to Miu dying was going to be? Because it makes them sound like, ah, she was always in the way. Ah, whatever. Now that she's gone, I'm so much happier. In the end, she had done a lot for us. Especially for Kibo, especially for me, for Shuichi. And whoever killed her out of the five or six people that are left or whatever. There's two on that page. Oh, this page is, like, almost untouched. Come on, guys, pick it up. It's one of them four. Uh, the other two, like, panels of people are just <laughs> completely blacked out. <sighs> so I've got theories. I've got thoughts. I've got shenanigans. Um... There's some body swapping going on. I think that whoever logged in as Miu maybe was not Miu. And somehow got locked up midway through everything. Um, 
One of the things that's really hard for me to figure out, I think our skills are gonna be fine. Um, oh, we've got like six more skills I can put in here. Ooh, baby, we're rich. Got anything cool at the bottom? What's twin six? Switches to a better car. I wanna set that. Done, we're done here. I think I was, I, we got a whole lot of new things that we're gonna screw with. And so I'm excited to see uh, how this changes how we see a class trial. We've just got a bunch of new abilities and stuff, and I've spent a lot of time just in the casino grinding out coins just to see what happens. Now then, let's begin with a basic explanation. Thanks, Monokuma. Ah, screw it. This is tiresome. Skip it. I agree. You need more motivation. Oh, war, we could do that. I do. I really, really do. Now then, let's start this class trial. Why so blue, Monokuma? Before we start, I why just so blue, Panda Bear? Since there's not a lot of us left. <laughs> what happens if the votes result in two first places? Huh? You mean like? <gasps> I like this. I've never thought of this either. Like. If there's a tie for two first places and b one of them is the blackened, does that mean they both get executed? They both the blackened, as long as one of them is correct. That's fine. Oh, he'll just take out both of them. Daddy, are you sure you should make We've never had that. That's another case that we've never had where um, there's just two blackens. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Thanks. Since that's answered, I can start enjoying this life or death game now. <laughs> Kokiji's like, how can I split the votes? What game? How long are you gonna keep saying that? Just ignore Kokichi. The other thing the is, is that there could be a tie the between two blackens or three blackens or more. Um, and it could be like one vote here, one vote here, one vote here, one vote here, and two votes in two different places. And like nobody oh, knows what's going on. Himiko has become so determined. <sighs> really do change but now she's lost what made her so unique <laughs> that's none of your business himiko can be many kinds of unique we should focus on the class trial first we need to clarify interrupt kibo please the there we go we did it what say that to my face <laughs> while we were all still logged in kaito logged out alone right you were able to move freely. Doesn't that mean <sighs> you could have committed the murder? Let's get this over with immediately, because this is the easiest string to unravel. This is a string that doesn't involve gimmicks in the virtual world. And that's the most important thing here. How long are you going to keep saying that? Trusted people can still kill, you know. We already saw that a bunch of times. So many times. <laughs> Let's just twist that knife in there one more time. All right, business time. First act of the night. I hope we lie. Let's just lie straight off the bat. Uh, <laughs> Killing game simulator. Ooh, I like this. Kaito culprit? Impossible. Of course it's impossible because I didn't do it. What if we just lie about the bottle of poison? On Kokichi's seat, didn't we? The culprit was trying to pin the blame on me. That diversion was part of your plan, right, Kaito? Well, Kaito, any last words? Because the bottle came from words? our thing, so we gotta protect ourselves here. We decide if me was killed in the real world or the virtual world. Kaito you think we can get away with lying on the first one? I kind of want to. What's. Oh, it's a small antidote bottle instead. Ooh! I could totally get away with that. Of course it's impossible, because I didn't do it. Look at how many stars we have, how many hearts we have. Oh, y'all can't even see it. Check this out. Check out how many stars and hearts we got. We got a million of them. You is still in the Yes! I'm so satisfied! 
<laughs> we can totally, we totally took a back door through this whole thing by lying. And it's much too early to decide that Kaito is the culprit. Thank you, Shuichi. We're gonna knock Why? both of these out right now. It's already too late. You guys also, did that achievement so say what's wrong with taking the back streets? <laughs> We're skipping Kokichi's bullshit. We're gonna play into the lie. Have you forgotten? The bottle we found at the scene was an antidote, not a poison. It's not like you could have been killed by an antidote. Ooh, snap! What? Are you serious here? Come on, Shuichi. It's my bottle. I would know, wouldn't I? All that three of us. Psh, 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 totally innocent. The label? the label was switched. Is this fun for you? Messing with the trial? Hmm? Well, I mean, this is where it gets fun for both me and the culprit. Yes. So, what's this talk about an antidote? We'll just say you misunderstood the whole thing, Shuichi. We all know you wouldn't lie. Oh, man. There's something about lying in this game that totally course, jumps the shark. Sorry, I absolutely I believe that, mechanically speaking, the, the main character lying in a class trial jumps a bunch of sharks that make it so future Danganronpa games are going to be extremely complicated, but it's really good here. <laughs> Kokichi, and especially because Kokichi well. is here to lie, especially about everything. You're the one who told us about the warnings on the label. If you remember what was on that label, you'll see that your argument is flawed. What mm -hmm. warnings? Was there something like that on the label? Um, so what does that mean? It means that Mew couldn't have been killed with poison. That's what ah, I'm trying to say. We've gotten like all of the red herrings just cleared out. Boom, boom, boom. Totally you? knocked out. Uh, right. Well, for now, forget the antidote. <laughs> Shuichi, you could just say it came from your room, Let's man. focus on exactly what was written on that warning label. I'm the ultimate detective. I know these poisons. Drinking the poison would result in subconjunctival hemorrhaging. In other words, your eyes would be bloodshot. Oh, but Mew's body. That's right. Her eyes weren't bloodshot. She wasn't killed by that poison. We gotta find out what killed her. That's the first thing. And then we gotta find out, hopefully from that, that'll give us all of the details we knew about how that murder happened. Probably a diversion. The culprit wanted us to think Mew died by poison. Oh, man. What was her real cause of death? I mean, it would have to be... Toilet paper did it. We all get done in by toilet paper in the end. But not the hammer. Some kind of well, we can't get to the avatar user error yet. Where's the uh, where's the like the uh, settings on the freaking helmet device instructions? Can this be it? I don't know if that's really, I don't know if that's. I mean, maybe the, we say the game kill it? Let's try here. Oh, okay, okay, so they're also in the idea that the cause of death might have been death in the actual game. Killing game simulator. Objects can't break, avatars cannot be injured, however, the body's five senses are connected. Okay, so yeah, we'll just say she died in the killing game, and that's how she died. Ah, that makes things so much more simple. Was the killing game simulator itself? In the virtual world, if your avatar takes fatal damage, your real body dies of shock. That was made that sucks, bro. Text file. I'm wondering if maybe she fell off of the building? If someone pushed her off of the roof because they were supposed to meet up there, then she would have died. She would have died in the game. And they would have to dispose of the body. They would have had to throw her over the edge, the other side. I think that's I think that's where we're going with this. In that case, 
it's fair to say that the cause of death was actually the simulator. Um, Gonta has question. Miu is hoisted by her own virtual Where petard. Is this virtual world place. What floor is it on? Gonta, come on, man. If you don't understand, then don't say anything. Okay, Maki, that's a little reductive. Let's let's live back a little bit. If killed in the virtual world, then the next thing we need to figure out. Agumon did it. To incur fatal damage with Where Garurumon came in, bit her head off. Didn't see that one coming. So her cause of death in the virtual world is the one that matters. Ooh, all right, cool. Um, we're just like one tiny little incy bitsy bit into this, and I'm like, oh yeah, we're here. It, it feels good like to be on trial. Confused. So why don't we review things a bit? Um. Let's. We're good. We're good. We know what's going on. That NPC Kaito. I know it's such an NPC. Um, okay, cool. Hey, who you call an NPC, you ASS? Very good. And the others who searched the chapel were Keyboy, Maki, Kimiko, and the late Mew. So Keyboy, Keyboy, Maki, and Himiko are totally safe. Uh, those three we know couldn't have had anything to do with this because they couldn't have gone over to that other side where Miyu was. Miyu can travel between both sides through that super weird uh, glitchy wall in the whole like interface of the game itself. We know that. Which means that if the murder happened on our side of the like map and that means that everyone on the other side of the map is totally fine. Alright, I'm done here. <laughs> Let's be Himiko, it's all good. You you can be you can ha your body can be whatever it wants to be. We don't really get to choose that. And anyway, it's not like I have skin in the game because it's big boy season every day. Let's pin uh, let's pin down the like murder itself. Let's we've gotten distracted. We've gotten a little off topic. Always. I don't know how Monokuma stands any of these the trials. Literally, teenagers just talking injured. about shit. So let's focus our efforts on that first. Did that to me. Was dropped right next to her avatar. Okay. It has to be the hammer. We're going to beat her with his bare hands. Are we certain that blunt force was involved? I think so. didn't hit her. Involved. Really? It's possible she was pushed from a great height. I like this one. Could she have drowned? I'm okay, so there was even drowning in there. I like all of these ideas. Um, yes, what's the condition of Miu's body? Oh, wait a minute, hold up a second. If Miu is reaching for her, her neck in this picture, maybe that's how we're supposed to know that she was strangled. That that's like the kind of pain she was feeling in the virtual world. Oh, 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 okay. That's why, <laughs> that's why our smarty pants best friend knows why it was strangulation she's trying to get us to the get us to the main point okay sweet sweet easy nice we're gonna become like super liars <laughs> this game is gonna be like uh, uh maki's gonna be looking at us like shuichi I think this is a bad look on you, man. You lied for 14 out of 15 of the uh, possible times you could have lied. Mm. Okay, cool. That's why her body was in that position. I don't know how I didn't put this together. For some reason, I figured, like, she must have died outside of the world, and then someone just put the goggles back onto her afterwards, and... No, that's not... She died in the game. I believe Maki is correct. You were strangled to death. I, how would she have been strangled to death, though? The hammer is blunt force. Yeah, definitely. There was a bunch of objects that were... There were very few objects in the actual game. Toilet paper? Just Strangling TP? Strangling poison are the only methods that can make her look like she suffocated. But we already removed the possibility of poison, so it can only be strangulation. Also, when a victim is poisoned, they commonly grab their chest and mouth. Cool, Maki. Cool little deets here. It's obvious she was trying to protect her windpipe. 
She was clawing at her own little, her own chokers. Oh, she choked on her chokers. The assassin master gets really chatty when it comes to corpses. <laughs> you, you get him, Kokichi. Maki's like, I'm just trying to get out of here for dinner before dinner time. Being strangled in the virtual world. But is strangulation even possible in the virtual world? Let's try it. If Let's all go and choke strong, each other. It would be difficult to strangle a resistant victim. Mia's, Mia's picture! Yo, look! Mia's picture is just triple X. I know her so yeah, well. If she was just as strong as them. No way they could have strangled her. My poor little porno angel. Then the culprit would need a tool. There are tons of cases where a weaker person would strangle a stronger person with a rope. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! It could have been the toilet paper because objects don't break! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Killing. Toilet paper would normally be too flimsy to do this, but here it's just rope. It's unbreakable! But was there even a rope in that world? <laughs> oh no! Then they must have used something else as a rope. Oh man, that took me a little too long to put together. But toilet paper. This is it. <laughs> it's so innocent. She Doing took. An investigation. She didn't take out toilet, toilet paper. paper. The mansion. Oh no, Mia was absolutely hoisted by her own edge case programming petard. <laughs> I'm guessing that the toilet paper That's was used so to strangle That's so sad! I, no can ignore that! I'm, I'm dying! <laughs> what you There's to so you? many levels to that! <laughs> she huh? talk about What's pooping wrong? so often and she died from toilet paper! We learned more about her rectum than any other character in this series ever we ever needed to know about people's stools. Oh man, all right, Gont, are we gonna go at this? I don't know. I don't think we need to, but it's no time for nonsense. Not me use Avatar. Nope. Kaito's account. <clears throat> no, that's him leaving. Can use toilet paper in place of rope. Yeah, let's just cut through everything. Even Gonta know that, and Gonta not smart. It would break. Would tear too easy. Oh, okay. They want to. So it's not that the bridge itself wouldn't break. We can't use that as evidence. Um, but we can use the killing game simulator rules as the evidence. Okay. Because in the virtual world. Objects are unbreakable. Come on, Gonta. I don't think we needed a whole thing just for that, but all right. All right. You're so dumb, Gonta. If objects can't break, don't be mean to Gonta. shouldn't be able to tear. And since it couldn't tear, it could be used as a rope. I'm so satisfied. Gonta, not really understand, but it's just not Gonta's place to understand. Gonta was wrong. It's okay, Gonta. You're just impassioned. Don't worry about it. Thank you, Shuichi. Killed by toilet paper. <laughs> Thank you, Himiko. Yes, we are all redeemed by this. Fitting end. I do not fully understand that. Logic. She was a shitty person, and she died from the thing that cleans shit up. But if Mew was killed <laughs> near the chapel, oh, Kibo doesn't understand because he doesn't poop. He doesn't get it. <laughs> Maybe the culprit tried to get rid of it to destroy the evidence. If toilet paper was the murder hmm. weapon, then what's the deal with the hammer next to her? Why? Yeah. Had a backup weapon, just in case. No, the culprit didn't bring the hammer. Yeah, me you brought the hammer. But who Boom! The bringing the hammer down on justice. Out of self-defense, right? That's it. Bingo. Bingo, bango, bango. The hammer. <laughs> Mew, bring hammer. Remember what she told us. Nobody else could have brought yeah, dangerous weapons in. She deleted any dangerous objects. Unless she didn't think a hammer that was dangerous. 
she wouldn't have missed something like a hammer. Meaning that Mew must have left it on purpose. Yep. Um, nice. This? Just left it on her avatar's person. But why she do that? Let's, yeah, why did she bring a hammer? Because she would only be able to use it on other people unless she had an intention to kill someone, which she might have. Let's assume that Mew brought the hammer. Yeah. What was she planning to do with it? Maybe use it to break down a wall? We want to consent with that? No, because you can't break down a wall. Going to know Mew gonna build stuff with hammer. A D Probably DIY project. <laughs> or she secretly met up with someone and tried to kill him with it. There we go. We can consent with Kokichi. Sweet. The nice and easy one. They give me a little softball after these. These last two were kind of difficult or tricky. I got lucky the first time. Oh, shoot. There it goes. There it goes. I'm looking for uh, statement number seven. Was that the third to last one? There we go. Oh, come on. And tried to kill them God damn it! You mean I can't shoot white text either? There! Finally. I agree. <laughs> I agree, Kokichi. Whether I want to or not, you're finally you right about someone. someone in the virtual world. Does he know that it's him? Mm -hmm. With me. I was supposed to meet up with Mew on the roof of the mansion. What's your angle on this? Are you going to try to clear yourself preemptively? I feel like that's I'll what I would do if I were him. About it at the chapel. By the way, Mew asked to meet up with me before we went into the virtual world. I totally forgot where we were supposed to meet, so good thing Keyboy spied on us. Yeah. Wait, so Mew called Kokichi out? If Mew brought the hammer, I wonder what she was planning to do. <gasps> She's gonna try to kill you, Kokichi? <laughs> Confess her love for Kokichi. That's it. She wanted to kill Kokichi in her own game. She was trying to kill Kokichi. She was what? Yeah, yeah. How did we get here? Yep. Mew, I thought you really didn't want to kill anybody. No, she never said she didn't want to kill anyone. She just was sick of people killing bad, like killing good guys, killing her friends. If you want to prove this, you'll need to figure out. Mew's she was. Plan. Oh my God! That's why she was freaking out so much the first couple of days before she started working on that project was because she was sick of Kokichi. So she was finding a way to round round up everybody so that she could kill Kokichi. Kokichi sniffed it out. That's why she sent Kaito to the roof. Or he sent Kaito to the roof preemptively. Oh man, oh man. Oh, how do we drive? Ooh, look at this little buggy. Oh, this is kind of cool. When it was, when the power-up was called Twin Six, I thought that meant it was gonna be like an A86. Be just a nerdy weeby car, but oh, alerts! Mew, these Mew billboards are very distracting. With the <laughs> it was the anime version or the like, the weird stylized version of uh <laughs> of her. That's so funny. Also, hell yeah, our car is giant and we can drive through two of them at once. Beep beep! Who tried to kill Kokichi? Was it Mew? Was it Mew? Was it me? Was it you? It was Mew. Okay, so we're thinking about... There's three options now. We have to just come to terms with Mew Try it was planning a murder on Kokichi. Man, almost. <laughs> Oops. I haven't hit a car in a long time. That I don't think I've ever hit a car, actually, now that I think about it. 
think if I drive on this road long enough, I'll find, like, one of those hidden Monokuma things. I feel like that's how this goes. Okay, question time. Where was Mew trying to kill Kokichi on the roof? Okay, yes, we know this. I'm thinking our third phase is going to put together, like, what, how, why that actually happened. She was trying to kill Mew in the afterlife. Oh, shit. The ultimate con. Okay, so we're in the virtual world doing a murder. We are Mew. Why was a bottle of poison on Kokichi's seat? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It wasn't misplaced, no. Um... I don't know what they're trying to get to here. I guess to divert attention. <laughs> we smashed through a bunch of people. <laughs> hey! Why were we divert- Yeah, obviously we were diverting attention. That's why I went to the other two, because that seemed too obvious that we were diverting attention. All of this put together makes it seem like... Oh, to, to make it seem like he drank it himself? So Miu planted the poison, the bottle. She wanted it to appear as if Kokichi was killed in the real world. Okay, okay, that's way simpler than I thought about it. That's why she was the last one to log in. She did that too. What? Miu was the one who put that poison bottle there? And had she not died. She would have been able to control all of the other evidence everywhere else. Definitely weird about that. And that would have been, because she cleaned up the entire virtual world, that would have been the only piece of evidence around. Oh man, Miu's too good. She's smart. She's smart, but there was a hiccup in her plan and involved Kokichi somehow? Maybe there wasn't any... There must have been some shenaniganry with the... If she did place the noticing, then she must have logged out at some point. I like that we're agreeing with more people and not going against them. Kokichi, weren't you in the salon around that time? Nope, I didn't see that at all. She didn't log in, log out. Hmm. Then you couldn't have placed the poison. Then who put poison bottle? Oh, yeah, she could have because she logged in later than all of us. Like three minutes later. Big bang boom. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Kaito. We're gonna use you as a little bit of a punching bag here. It was Mew who planted the poison on Kokichi's chair. Okay, we've we've gone a little ways into this trial, and I think now is a perfect time. After the psych taxi, we got our first psych taxi done. Now is a perfect time to call a break. We're gonna call a little tiny break, a little halftime show, like beep beep. Black Eyed Peas are gonna play. It's gonna be awesome. Hosted by Pepsi. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Enjoy the following halftime show in its entirety. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow for more Danganronpa and for more of the beauty stuff. Woo! What we need to figure out before we go, we need to figure out um, who met up with Miyu and how did she die in the virtual world? Because Monokuma would not explain why, like how she died. The Monokuma file said nothing about how she died virtually, which is the whole kind of problem with this virtual game. The logistic problem that, that some, for some reason Monokuma made a video game inside of his killing game to be like the killing game, except he has no control over it at all. Huh. That's weird, Monokuma. Um, I love you guys very much, and I'll see you next time for more Danganronpa! Uh,